Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to District Trending and today we're going to be looking at 5 crazy things the Migos have bought. Before this video starts though, if we can shoot for 500 likes on today's video, that would be insane if we could hit it. So make sure to drop a like if you already haven't. Also guys, we are doing a red iPhone 7 giveaway, so if you guys want to enter that, all you guys have to do is subscribe and turn on post notifications. Leave a like, watch this video, and also comment down below saying I subscribed and feel free to let us know what your favorite Migos song is. And will be sure to read your comments and you will be entered to win this iphone also guys the notification shout out on today's video goes to this guy up here on the screen so shout out to them if you guys want to be featured for a video on the next video all you guys have to do is subscribe turn on post notifications leave a like watch this whole video and on the next video comment saying first or notification squad or whatever you guys want all right guys so the amigos are if you guys already don't know a trio rap group which had the quadruple platinum hit which got four million units sold throughout the united states as as well as released their album culture which debuted at number one on the u.s billboard 200 earning 131,000 units in the first week it also topped the u.s top r&b slash hip-hop album chart becoming migos's first number one album on both charts on july 14th of 2017 culture was certified platinum so the migos if you guys aren't already familiar with consists of quavo takeoff and offset it's known that the migos actually lived together in the same household and grew up with each other however quavo is offset's cousin and take off is Quavo's nephew. Even though they are roughly around the same age, they did know each other since birth. So before the Migos collaborated with DJ Khaled, Lil Uzi Vert, Gucci Mane, Travis Scott, Drake, and 2 Chains, before the Migos had hits like Versace, Bando, Look at My Dab, Fight Night, and of course Bad and Bougie, before Offset bought his mom a house right when he started to make a lot of money in the rap game. But what was like the first thing you bought when you got out and had some money? My mama a house. Really? You bought your mama a house. Yeah. The Migos were living in a bando, broke and dealing drugs and robbing people. If you guys don't know what bando means, it's pretty much just an abandoned house where they do drugs, as well as sell drugs and deal drugs. In fact, the Migos only started off with investing $4,000 worth of recording equipment to create their songs, and they have made millions of dollars off of that. We got a little studio downstairs where we started all our craft at. It is right here, man. It's the money making studio. Yes. This right here where it go down there. Oh, cool. This is all we got. That's all you need though, right? This is all you need. Yeah. So for the first fact that takes the number 5 spot guys, it is that the Migos rent and have 25 million dollar mansions, and mansions even more expensive than that, where they throw parties at, and the mansions, let me just tell you, they are really big ones, they're really luxurious, they cost quite a hefty amount, and that the Migos, not only do they rent these 25 million dollar mansions, they also do own some multi-million dollar estates in Beverly Hills. We're not quite sure on the exact amount, but I'm sure that the Migos probably have a mansion that is worth around 5 million dollars, or even more than that. You guys probably already have figured it out by now but it's pretty and it's pretty self-explanatory but the Migos do invite people like Chris Brown and P Diddy and other celebrities such as Ty Lopez you know in the garage with my cars guy and many of today's big rappers are friends with the Migos since they have done a lot of collabs what's up we're at the Migos house party shout out to Charles I picked the quietest place because that place is crazy inside never get in the middle of the crowd you never know what will happen who here likes Migos? For the fourth spot fact, or the second fact, this is also about the Migos' luxurious lifestyle. They, along with other big time rappers and hip hop artists, fly in private jets, and these do cost quite a big chunk of money to go on, and since they are frequently traveling around the world, they probably fly private all the time now, so that is a crazy amount to spend on just travel expenses, but hey, since the Migos are rich and famous, they can pretty much do whatever they want. And I know this is a pretty straightforward thing, but trust me guys, flying private does not come cheap, and they do travel travel a whole lot just like other artists so they probably spend a good amount of money on just flying around the world yeah we got the rats yeah they long the long long airway long airway on the way we got go yo we got i said we got tape right here yeah, you know you did oh, but tape right here that's it oh oh yeah the big rats you know big rats the big rats man for the third fact guys this is also about travel and this one is actually that the amigos have spent a lot of money on cars and not just any old regular cars but sports cars yes cars with an s at the end meaning that they have spent money on multiple sports cars and fancy expensive cars offset likes to show off his mercedes maybach while quavo however likes the more sporty rides where he drives his mclaren 650s which is around two hundred and sixty-five thousand to three hundred thousand dollars. Along with 
that the Migos have also been spotted test driving these cars all around social media. It's safe to say that they have experienced the luxury of these sweet, sweet rides. Coming in at the second spot is that the Migos have spent an insane amount of their profits on gold and diamond chain. As you guys know, rappers love to rock chains and sometimes they are fake as you guys saw with the whole Lil Pump situation. But then there's rappers like Lil Uzi Vert, Lil Yachty, and of course the Migos that love to flex their money with custom chains that they spend hundreds of thousands of dollars on. And not just the chains, but also the watches. A lot of rappers love to buy watches and flex those too. Quavo even got himself a detailed chain that depicts himself with chains on and a chef's hat while holding the mouse from the movie Ratatouille and this chain cost him $250,000 or a quarter of a million dollars. Along with that Quavo also has other necklaces and jewelry. Quavo has got a chain of something that looks like Yoda which is most likely inspired by Star Wars. He also has a Napoleon themed one which also includes a catchphrase saying that way which if you guys didn't know is a popular ad lib that the Migos use and have created which now turned into a trend and now even other rappers borrow the ad libs for their own songs. Quavo isn't the only one with this expensive jewelry though, Offset has got himself a $100,000 raindrop chain filled with diamonds and gold and all that type of stuff. Along with Quavo and Offset, Takeoff has the chain which, which most are presenting as the hardest chain of the game, which is consisted of a rocket ship, stars, and planets, giving off a space type of theme, setting the mood as sci-fi. They not only have chains and necklaces, but they also have rings and bracelets, and in an interview with Billboard magazine, Offset was asked to count up how much the value of all of his jewelry he had on his hand, and he tallied up to over $300,000 along with the Louis V case and an additional $160,000 in watches. Finally guys, the number one craziest thing that the Migos have managed to buy is their sneakers and you guys might be looking at me crazy saying how are sneakers even that expensive? Well, they may not be as expensive as the chains, but the Migos did spend a lot of money on shoes which are tens of thousands of dollars, sometimes just on one single pair of shoes and that's actually a lot if you think about it in the perspective of the shoe market because regular Nike or Jordan shoes don't really cost more than $250 and sometimes even less than 200 or 150. However, the Migos got their hands on crazy rare shoes and they just do not care if they spend racks and racks on sneakers, which are clothes, don't get me wrong, but again, spending tens of thousands of dollars on sneakers is just crazy absurd and that's why we decided to put this at our number one spot for the craziest thing that the Migos have bought. Growing up in their childhood, the boys would usually get in fights about who could wear the, about who could wear what sneakers, but now they all have some crazy sneakers. Now the Migos rock Pharrell's Adidas Human Race NMDs as well as Yeezys. The craziest cop of them all though is that Offset managed to get his hands on a special edition pair of Nike Air Force Ones that can be valued up to $94,000 on eBay. Along with that, as you guys know, Gucci also sells sneakers and shoes and Offset has been rumored to spend as much as $100,000 in one single session stop at the Gucci store. Speaking about spending money on clothes, the Migos did also get featured on Complex's series on sneaker shopping and the Migos spent a casually small sum of $2,750.25, copying a pair of Air Jordan 23s, Air Jordan 7 Retros, Air Jordan 12 Retros, Air Jordan 13 Retros, and Air Jordan 16 Retros. A lot of Jordan Retros. So that was it for this video. In conclusion, I did manage to notice that Offset was the biggest spender out of these three Migos. However, Quavo came close at second, but Takeoff is more of the quieter one. It's obvious that Offset is able to spend the most amount of money as he has a longer rap sheet, and he also is the main writer for Bad and Bougie. If you guys did enjoy this video, please do not forget to smash that like button. Let's see if we can hit 500 likes on this video. Also guys, just another reminder if you guys do want to enter the red iPhone 7 giveaway, once again, all you have to do is leave a like, which I'm sure you probably must have done by now. Subscribe, turn on post notifications by clicking the little bell icon next to the subscribe button once you have clicked subscribe, and leave a comment down below in the comment section letting us know that you've subscribed, and feel free to mention what your favorite song is from the Migos. That's it for today's video, we'll catch you guys later on District trending.